In lesson 10, we're going to learn how to use the clipboard. We're going to learn about cut, copy, and paste. And we're also going to learn about undo and redo. Now I'm almost done with my letter. And I'd like to put a post script down at the bottom. So I'm going to take my mouse and scroll down to the bottom of the letter. And then right down here, I'm going to press enter for a blank line. And I'm going to type in my post script. So I'll type in PS. By the way, Mr. Schwarzenhofer. Now, I don't really want to type in Schwarzenhofer again. It's a big, long name. And I keep spelling it wrong. So wouldn't it be nice if there was a way I could copy Schwarzenhofer from where it's typed in already in my document and then paste it down here in the bottom? So let's go back up to the top of the document and find Schwarzenhofer. Here it is right here. Let's select this text using the mouse. I'll click right in front of Schwarzenhofer, hold my mouse button down, and select the entire name right about there. Now that I have it selected, come up to the ribbon and find the clipboard group right here to the left of the font group. There are a couple of buttons to get familiar with. The first one is cut, then copy. Don't worry about this guy right here, the format painter. We'll talk about him later. And right over here is the paste button. Now the paste button actually has two parts to it. There's the button up top that looks like a clipboard. Then there's the more options down here, which if you click on that opens up a little sub menu. We're not going to worry about that right now. Paste special is a bit of an advanced topic. But for now what I'd like to do is click on the copy button. Now when you click on the copy button, nothing appears to happen. But what really happened in the background was the word Schwarzenhofer was copied to something called the clipboard. What's the clipboard? Well, the clipboard is a little magical happy place somewhere in the computer's memory that stores information for you. You can copy things to the clipboard and then paste them into different sections of your document. For example, I just copied Schwarzenhofer to the clipboard. Now let's scroll back down to the bottom of our document. And I'll click right here where I stopped before. And then I'll paste Schwarzenhofer right here. So I'll click right on the clipboard itself, not on the word paste, just click on the clipboard. And there we go. Schwarzenhofer was copied to the clipboard a minute ago. Now I just pasted it from the clipboard into my document. Now what's the difference between cut and copy? Remember there's two different buttons up here. There's cut and there's copy. Well, cut removes the original, whereas copy leaves it there. For example, let's say I wanted to take Richard and move it after the word Rost. I could select Richard using the mouse, cut it from its original location with the cut button, click after the word Rost, hit the space bar to put a space in there, and then paste it in. See that? That's cut and paste versus copy and paste, which leaves the original alone. That's what we do with Mr. Schwarzenhofer. You can think of the difference between copy and cut as the difference between a photocopier and a pair of scissors. If there's a picture in the newspaper that you want to put in your Word document and you photocopy it, you can then use the copy in your document. However, if you take a pair of scissors to the newspaper and cut it out, you just destroy your original. So that's copy versus cut. Now, I've just decided that I don't want to have my name Ross Richard. I want to put that back the way it was. But instead of going through all those steps again, wouldn't it be nice if I could just undo or erase the steps that I just performed? Well, Microsoft Word and a lot of applications, including Excel and PowerPoint, have a button called Undo. And it's right up here on the Quick Toolbar. There's undo, and right now it says undo paste because the last operation was paste. So if I click on undo paste, it gets rid of the last action, which is pasting my name in. If I click again, it gets rid of that little space 
that I typed in. If I click a third time, it gets rid of the cut operation. So it keeps a history of the last couple of things that you've done in case you decide that you've made a mistake. That's what the undo button does. Now just to the right is another button that's called redo. And redo goes the other way. It basically undoes the undo button. If you decide now that you want to put that stuff back, click on the redo button. See? Redo, 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 and so on. Right? I'll use the undo button and go back to there. So that's undo and then redo. And now I'll finish my sentence down here. By the way, Mr. Schwarzenoffer, our technical support department is open 24 hours.